What's good, y'all? Rich Sosa back in a building with another banger. Now, first things first, before we get started today, I gotta go ahead and say thank God for another day and another opportunity. Now, as y'all can see from the looks of the title and the screen, today I put together another very special and crazy build today now this build i'm gonna be calling it the two-way stretch post shot crater build in nba 2k23 on next gen now this build is actually gonna come out to a stretch four and what makes this build really special today is that we're gonna be able to get gold limitless range on a 611 build a 94 plus post control and this build is actually gonna play some really solid defense and honestly gonna be able to carry the offensive load now when it comes down to this build as far as all around, this is going to be one of the best power forwards that you can make, especially when it comes down to being able to get contact dunks. You're going to be able to also get some of the pro dribble moves, but when it comes down to the actual breakdown of the attributes, the ones that we can get a 100 plus for is going to be the driving dunk, our post control, three point shot defensive rebound, as well as our block. Now this build is really going to remind me of Kevin Durant from the Golden State Warriors. So before we get any further into this video, if it's your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, smash that like button, turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family, and last but definitely not least, comment down TG for thank god and where you're tuning in from and I most definitely will be sure to hit y'all back with a response. So with this build, we're also going to be able to get rim protecting, post scoring, and sharpshooting takeover, and also one of the highest batch counts when it comes down to a power forward. So let's go ahead and get started with the breakdown of this build. The first thing that we need to do is put it under the power forward position. Now when it comes down to the body settings, this is going to be another crucial area of this build, but make sure that you can go about this to your own liking. Now when it comes down to the height, I'm going to go with 6'11". As for the weight, I like 210, and then when it comes down to our wingspan, I'm going to go with 6'11", and we're still going to be able to maintain contact dunks with this build. Now today, I'm going to go with the body shape of Defined, and now from here, we're all set to go to get started. So let's get started with our physicals. So for the speed, I'm going to put this up to a 72. As for the acceleration, I'm going to go with the 76, which is maxed out. Now the strength, I'm going to leave it as is. And then for the vertical, I'm going to put this to a 68. Now look, for now, if you want to make the adjustment to get more badges out of this build, go ahead and leave your vertical at a 68. But if you want to, you can go with the 75 to automatically guarantee that you get contact dunks. From here, I'm going to move on to the stamina. I'm going to go with the 90. And right here, we're going to be all set to move forward. Now, when it comes down to the defensive end, go with an 80 when it comes down to the defensive rebound. As for our block, I'm going to go with an 88. And then for the steal, put this to a 65. Now, for the perimeter defense, I decided to go with the 76. And then for the interior, I'm going to go with the 72. And right there, we're going to be able to maintain a total of 18 defensive badges. Now, for the ones that we unlocked, I like Challenger with Glove, also Interceptor. Then from there, we get Box Up Beast on Silver, Hall of Fame Chase Down Artist with Silver Anchor, and then Bronze Rebound Chaser. Now, moving on to the playmaking, go for a speed with ball of a 69. Now, when it comes down to our ball handle, I'm going to go with the 75 and then ask for the pass accuracy. Put this to the same exact thing for a total of 16 badges. Now, with this area, we get handles for days, quick for step on bronze, and we're also going to be able to get silver unpluckable. Now, I think Clamp Breaker is going to be useful as well. Now, moving on to the shooting, go with the 73 for our free throw. As for the three point shot, go with the 92. And then four when it comes down to the mid range, go with the 78. And right there we get a total of 23 badges. Now I'm gonna take one tick off of our mid range. Then from there, look, we get agent three off rip for tier one. Hall of Fame space crater with volume shooter. Amped and mini magician on gold. But then we get Hall of Fame Green Machine, Limitless Range as well. Now the fact that we're able to get Agent 3 on gold out of a 611 build makes a huge difference. Now when it comes down to the finishing, go with the post control of a 94. And then ask for that standing dunk, leave it at a 62. And then now when we move on to the driving dunk, this is going to make a big difference. So go with an 86 right here. As for the layup, I'm going to go with the 75. And then when it comes down to our close shot, this is adjustable to your own liking. Originally, I did go with the 69, but you can go ahead and put this to a 67. Now when it comes down to the vertical, put this to a 73. 
Now we're going to have to make a few minor adjustments to get those contact dunks, but we're still going to be able to maintain everything about this build. So when it comes down to the badge count, we're going to be able to get anywhere from 80 to 85 badges. Then when you do consider the plus 5 that we're going to be able to get towards our attributes from buying your own boost, an additional plus 4 from running with the teammate that has on Hall of Fame Floor General, and then once you activate your two separate takeovers, that's going to be another plus 10, and the better we play, our stats also gradually will raise. So let's go ahead and take a look, we get the sharpshooting, rim protecting, and post scoring takeover. Now if you want to be overpowered on the offensive end, I would go with limitless range takeover, and the second one, power backdowns or advanced post moves. Now this all comes down to how you want to go about this, I think power backdowns is going to be a little bit better, but to help out on the defensive end, I would really go with paint intimidation. Now let's go ahead and move forward with this build, and I'm telling y'all, one of the best versatile power forwards that we can make, and as y'all can see, we get a Kevin Durant comparison, and together we were able to create the two-way stretch post shot creator build which actually comes out to a stretch four but as far as what we're able to do on this build really is going to be one of the best catfish builds that you can make on nba 2k next gen now when it comes down to this build as a whole however you decided to go about the takeovers make sure you add up all of the boosts and then you're going to see the true potential of what this build can do now moving forward, I'm going to get into the breakdown of the badge layout, but if you did make it this far into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for your support. Now let's go ahead and get started. Now when it comes down to the finishing area, I'm going to go with Brown's Acrobat, Fearless Finisher, Silver Posterizer, Slithery as well as Gold Pro Touch, and then also I think Limitless Takeoff is going to be essential for this build, but then I'm going to go with Core, Back Down Punisher, and Hall of Fame. Now if you want to you can go with tier 3 badges, but I think tier 2 and tier 1 are going to be the most important. Now for the shooting, I'm going to go ahead and put on core, gold limitless range, hall of fame green machine, space crater, volume shooter amp, silver midi magician, as well as agent 3. Now feel free to go about the badges however you would like, but here's going to be the jump shots that we can pick and recreate from, and I think we actually have a good selection to choose from as well. Now when it comes down to the playmaking, I'm going to go with Brown's Clamp Breaker, Special Delivery, Bailout with Handles for Days and Mismatch Expert, and then we get Silver Vice Grip, Core Unpluckable, and Gold Quick First Step. Now if you throw one batch point into the playmaking, we're going to be able to equip Gold Unpluckable on the core tier. Now when it comes down to the defensive end, I'm going to go with Brown's Rebound Chaser, Interceptor, Glove Challenger with Silver Box Out Beast, Core Anchor, and Hall of Fame Chase Down Artist. Now this is what the build is going to be looking like today. Let me know what y'all thought about it, and if you made it exactly how I brought it to y'all, let me know in the comments or did you recreate your own version. Now I just want to say thank God for another day and another opportunity, and if it was your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, smash that like button, and turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family. Last but definitely not least, comment down TG for thank God and where you're tuning in from, and I most definitely will be sure to get back to y'all with the response. And with all that being said though, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.